Hi. Hi. Oh, the microphone's in the shot. I like it, actually. I really love it. Hi. Um, it's been a long time since I made a video, and um, it just uh, feels like the moment to give a video. But I really feel like it's time for there to be a bathrobe in the poem, in the bathrobe series poems. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, I'm not doing this anymore. Oh, maybe I will. Um, so I wanted to actually show you um, a full-on bathrobe shot. Here it is. Um, this is the winter robe. I hope you can still hear me. And the summer robe looks similar, but um, doesn't have the moons and stars. Um, this is my wizard robe. Anyway, um, this poem actually has a bathrobe in it. And it isn't seasonal. Today is very wintry, and um, this is actually a sort of a spring summer poem, but uh, it's what's here, so say hello. You are left with yourself as familiar things get yanked away, as lovers arrive with their extra people, as instructions become ambiguous written in language for which there is no translation. You sit on the porch of foreign because you were summoned for your health, safety, own good. And you can say no, but this may well leave you alone. But yes leads you to a whole other house where only the birds are familiar for they will eat bread in any language. Some action is always taken. Even writing in your bed is not enough. Eventually, your characters will throw you out the window. And you will be ashamed, standing in your bathrobe, beside the sagging peonies. The young mothers, efficiently wheeling strollers, mocking you with their gait. And you will have to decide whether to run back in or stand there and say hello. So in the spirit of the bathrobe series where I offer a poem, you can just have it, sit, do nothing, take it in. Or if you feel like writing, then the prompt, the question is that comes to my mind do you want to run back in or do you want to stand there and say hello? And if it's both, do two. Just write. Thank you.